<clears throat> Alright, shalom. Uh, so this video is going to go into uh, how you should be shadowing your characters. I um, want to make this quick. Just some basic rules on how when you shadow. So uh, first I want you to notice how I have this divided up. Um, oh wow, I actually forgot to speak. Um, one sec. Well, this is probably good anyways, just so you can see how I make my layers. Hold on. Always make sure. One second. Now, something is wrong because this thing is acting funny. Okay, so now, okay, yeah, always make sure that you have this thing at zero. Uh, because even if you change art or something and it's all the way here at the timeline, remember the timeline is to create the animation. So if you all, trust me, and this happened to me plenty of times. Um, we have to redo something because I didn't make sure that the keyframe was at zero, and then you gotta start all over because it, then it's a, like a huge waste of time and hassle trying to uh, get this, you know, to just fix it. But anyways, uh, vector, yes, vector. Put it under the bone. <clears throat> I mean, not with that foot, right foot. Anyways, do, 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 do. no shape. So, <clears throat> for the foot, you know, you don't have to go too crazy just because it's really not an important piece. I mean, There's the feet, you know. As long as they look decent, they're fine. Okay. So what I did, did just there is just take off the line. I mean. It's uh
you know, I mean, it's not like you can tell what it is, but, you know, what I, what you'll start noticing is that I, many times I just make these shapes and I just edit them, which you should be doing the same thing. I don't really use lines. We, I, I want to discourage everyone from using lines just because, you know, individual lines, trying to make that unless it's essential, only because a lot of the lines um, that are going to be used to be going into detail um, they're, they're not needed because that's what the shadowing is for. A lot of the detail is taken care of when you do the shadow. Right now. Okay, there we go. Now, let's see. Okay, the thing with this is. Hold on. I just like doing. I just like doing it separately just because you can control better and it, it's less work trying to draw something in front of the other when you can just make another layer and just do it in front. And then you can do that. It's just easier when you when you you're working when you separate things. Now, so for something like a like the nail or you know something like that, it's not it's, it's not important. Um, Now, like you'll see on the side here, I mean, I, I was just looking through some tutorials myself. Um, thing is, the, the animation style is different than ours. I mean, it's, it's good, but... It's like for what we're for the purposes that we're doing this for. It's um. Yeah, I'm not, and I'm not saying don't watch them. I'm just saying that just to get you mean if anything, do watch them. But for the purposes of this animation, there's certain things that I'm doing differently, just a bit. Why is this toe looking funny like that? That's a big toenail. Also, that's another thing. 
um, you don't have to 100% follow everything. Sometimes if you think it's something is necessary, a certain change, um, as long as you're not this, you know, com you know, changing the image completely, that's that's fine. It's, it's completely fine. I just wish this thing had a uh, quick, quick but shortcuts. Is that that's the only downfall of, about this program that I really don't like? Is it doesn't have shortcuts, and You know, I gotta keep on going back and forth with this thing. Clicking the tools, changing. That's a big toy. Now I could just make my life easier and duplicate this. Always try to find a shortcut as long as it's not destroying the image. That toe is going to be go behind this one. It's going to be a little smaller though. Get 
this to put it on the third toe, make it a little smaller. click this on should look pretty decent now again don't you know don't it doesn't have to look all that great I'm not I'm not breaking my neck because um, what we're gonna do next is following I'm gonna duplicate this I'm gonna put it all the way to the top layer because this is actually going to become So this is going to be like the top parts. This one. Oh, actually, no. Let's do it all in the same one. Yo, uh, P 
pieces of clothing like this, you know, accessories don't don't really make sense trying to separate them. And he says, you can start seeing, you know, you always check to make sure to, you know, see, see what the what the quality of your work is. There's one more part to which I did not
Okay, so what I didn't do is think this through. And sometimes, you know, you don't want to, if you can't figure it out right away on how to fix something, instead of just, you know, not wanting to do the work all over again, it's just best. Uh, to just do it over, but that's what we're trying to avoid. I mean, I could just simply just make another layer. shouldn't affect it that much or at, or at all. That's it. That's it for the sandal. Although, probably make it darker. Oh, wait, I think there's one more piece. Oh, um, just pants. See that? Avoid that. That's it. Now, all you gotta do is just take this, duplicate it, bring it to the side, and then just edit it. Wait, why? I don't know why. My thing is bugging. Hold on.
and then just change it you know each attribute just you know make it invisible and then just drag and replace that's why that way it's not that much more work